Well, if you follow us on Facebook, we told you we were going to visit Geneva on the Lake, as well as Ashtabula County and the village of Madison. And boy, did we find some great things, wineries, a wonderful tour. Renee, what did you find? Well, thanks, Mike. Well, we couldn't have picked a more beautiful day to visit Geneva on the Lake and the area surrounding that. We're gonna take you a little east of here where you can get a delicious burger and wonderful drinks and a fun atmosphere. And also a place where you can have a wonderful meal some wine and do a little shopping and there's no better view than right here on Geneva on the lake we found a place where you can stay and relax plus some sweet treats ahead I'm Renee Joseph and along with Mike Kilburn we are out and about Geneva on the lake Sellers is bringing back a term, the Supper Club, and we're going to learn more about that and some of the other things you're going to find here. Cindy Lindbergh joins us today. Cindy, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks. Well, let's first talk about one of the things you guys really love to do is food and wine pairing. Yes. So what opportunities do people have to do that here? Well, I think food and wine is an absolute perfect marriage. And so we have a full restaurant here at Grand River Cellars Winery. Um, and so we encourage people to come and enjoy, kind of like plan a little bit longer of a stay here to, so they can have some food along with their wine. And we also have beer as well. But if you're looking for something a little special, a little more unique, we have these cave tastings every Saturday at 1 p.m. It's an opportunity where you can go down into our wine cave down in the cellar, and we pair five small plates with uh, five wine samples. Wow. And it's just a great opportunity to learn a little bit more about food and wine sampling. Yeah, sounds like a great time. Yes. Well, as I talked about in the opening, uh, the term supper club's kind of an old term. Right. And you guys are bringing that back. How? Well, we really pride ourselves in the fact that we have live entertainment Thursday through Sunday. And so I always refer to it as a supper club because you can kind of come out here and plan to just have fun with your friends for the evening, enjoy some nice music uh, while you're enjoying your eating and your drinking. So what else can visitors and guests expect to find here at Grand River Cellars? Well, I can tell you that we are a true farm winery, which means we have the vineyards, we have the open fields, we have the uh, blue skies and the green grass. And I think that right now in this day and age, that's a big deal. Um, we are going to keep people seated outside as long as we can possibly do so as far as the temperatures go. Um, and if you want to come and experience the smell of grapes in the air, uh, this is going to be a great time in September. We'll have uh, that it'll permeate the, the air as you pull up the driveway. You know, pulling up here, this place is absolutely beautiful. I appreciate you having us out. Give us some contact information, Cindy, where we can learn more. Oh, GrandRiverSellers.com or 440-298-9838. Well, on our trip to Northeast Ohio, we found something pretty unique. It's called Ohio Barbecue. We're going to tell you about that straight ahead. Well, located inside of Devon A Vineyards is a new brewery, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's called Double Wing Brewing, and Tony's here today to talk about it with us. Tony, welcome to the show. Good to have you on. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about what makes this unique. Uh, you know what makes us a little bit different uh, than most breweries around the state of Ohio? Um, when we originally started the brewery, we're built inside of Debonet Vineyards. Um, so we were the first ones to do that. There's a couple now more in the state who have the kind of crossover of wine and beer. What that gives us the opportunity to is to cater to many more people than if you were just a brewery or just a winery. Because, um, of course, there's male and female both. They don't drink wine or they don't drink beer. So we kind of cover that gap in there for both of them. Yeah. Now, how many different types are you brewing here? Uh, we always have 12 to 13 beers on draft at all times. Of course, those are rotating because we always try to keep two seasonals per season uh, just to keep things different. Um, but for the most part, it's, I would say, 23 to 24 beers that we brew year round. You know, this place is marvelous to start with. It's absolutely beautiful. You guys are always on a leading edge up here. How many years has Debonair been around? Uh, Debonair opened in 72. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, quite some years. Uh, the family farm here, of course, I'm fourth generation on the family farm. Uh, we've been here for 105 years. For folks in Columbus that'd like to give this a try, how can they do that? Uh, you know, you can go to rivalrybrews.com. It's a uh, mail order service of Double Wing Beers. Of course, we're not distributed down in Columbus yet. Right. Uh, but if you go on their website, you can get a list of all of our products delivered right to you. 
Boy, that is great. Well, give us some contact information because I know folks are going to want to come up and enjoy Debonay Wineries in the in the whole area. So yeah, yeah. If you come up in our area, uh, you can check us out on DoubleWingBrewing.com, Debonay.com, or uh, the old-fashioned way. Give us a call on the phone 440-466-3485. Yeah, great vacation spot. Thanks again. Thanks, Mike. This historical building, located in Ashtabula Harbor, is home to Fitzgerald's Wine Bar. Not only do they have wine, they also have a wonderful restaurant as well as shopping. You can do it all here. We're here in the historic area of Ashtabula, which is so quaint. Tell us a little bit about Fitzgerald's building, because I know this is a historic building too. It is. We're nestled in amongst a lot of other shops and restaurants here in Ashtabula Harbor, and all the buildings are from the late 1800s with a significant history here in the harbor. So this building actually has a history. It was a shoe store, is that what it was? The first documented um, shop that we know of was a shoe store. Hiram Cook actually was the original owner and um, it was a boot and shoe company way back when. This place is actually has two of my favorite things and that's wine and shopping and cool things I have to say. Tell us a little bit about the wine that you have here. So we really have wines from around the world here. Uh, there's a strong emphasis on local. Uh, we have a wide variety of wines from Ashtabula County here, but we do have wines from everywhere, including our own. We have a Fitzgerald Chianti, a um, Cabernet, and a Chardonnay as well. The items that you carry here are really boutique -y and unique. Tell us about that. Well, a lot of handmade things. We are always searching for unique boutique -y items, make shopping fun again. Yeah. So we have everything from custom handbags made from recycled sailboat sails to all types of little decorative items that are um, actually currently we have some from Thailand and we have local beach glass made by a local uh, gentleman who does beautiful beach glass jewelry for us. We also have Ann Coplick jewelry based out of New York and they design all the pieces by hand and they also do all the jewelry for dancing with the stars dancers so we think that's pretty interesting. Fantastic and I would encourage anyone to stop by here it's so cool. And coming up, we're going to go upstairs and check out the restaurant and bar. So don't go anywhere. Well, on your trip to Northeast Ohio, you may want to take this tour. It is the Barrels and Bridges Tour. And Nancy Hamper has joined us to talk a little bit about this tour. And it is great to get a good understanding of what's going on up here and find kind of what you want to do, right? Correct. Well, tell us a little bit about what tours you offer. Well, we have a variety of tours. The majority of our tours are winery tours. A four-hour tour, visiting four wineries during that time. Usually, uh, we let the guests pick a tour that they want to pick, go to. If they have a winery that they have that's a favorite that they're familiar with. Other than that, we just create an itinerary based on where we pick them up from. So, if they're lodging in the area, we like to make sure that they're safe. We pick them up from where they're lodging and create an itinerary so that we can minimize their travel time and maximize their stay at each winery. Yeah. Now what I didn't know is that there were so many bridges up in this part of the country, obviously behind us, a covered bridge. How many bridges do you visit? Um, usually a typical tour, if it's a winery tour, we can fit in at least this bridge for sure because it's right in the middle of our winery uh, venue in the area. Uh, we can also get two or three other bridges in there if the guests want wineries and bridges together. Uh, but we have 19 bridges here in our county, which include the nation's longest and shortest. That's amazing. We have packages on our website that also have just exclusively bridge tours if that's what the guests want. Oh, neat. Now, where do you pick people up from? Right where we're from their lodges. So if they're staying at Airbnbs or VRBOs in the area, or if they're staying at local hotels, we'll pick them right up from where they're at. That's the safest way for them to travel, especially if they're consuming alcohol. That keeps our roads safe. Um, if they're driving in just for a day trip, we'll pick them up at a convenient location that's best for them. What, what a great getaway, no question. We'll give us some contact information. Let's send some folks come from Columbus to take the tour. Oh, well, you can find us on the, the internet. We have our website at barrelsandbridgestours.com. Coming up later in the show, we found a place where you can relax, leave the politics and the ugliness of the world behind, and enjoy some great food and drinks. Stay with us. Well, on our trip to Northeast Ohio, we found Ohio barbecue. We're going to learn what that is. Joining me today is Nate Rockwell with Burkett's Smokehouse. Welcome to the show. Good to have you on. Good to be here, Mike. Thanks for having me. 
So you're a real community partner, from what I understand, and you're well thought of in the community. How does that make you, or what makes you, I should say, a cornerstone community business, and how does that affect the way you operate? Well, one of the uh, one of the kind of cornerstone aspects of what we do when we started up uh, down here in Ashtabula Harbor, it was a majority vacant storefronts, and so in partnership with other uh, partners in the community. We've worked together over time to really build this into a community that's thriving. And you know what's nice is being here on the Ashtabula River, I mean, you can come by boat and enjoy this. It sounds like a great time to come and just kind of take in this whole area. We were talking about Ohio barbecue. So tell us a little bit about what is Ohio barbecue and, and, what, is, and what does it do? Well, when we started out, um, we decided if we were going to have a, a, a traditional barbecue restaurant and we wanted to do it how they do in the South, right. wood, real charcoal, uh, that we would have to take no shortcuts. Um, but we did want to differentiate ourselves a bit. So two things that we did and that we continue to do is we smoke all of our food with cherry wood and we, uh, we locally source that. The other thing we do is uh, maple mustard barbecue sauce. So where do you see Burkett's Smokehouse in 10 years? Uh, I see myself hanging out on the farm, doing a lot of maple work, and letting my younger associate here do the heavy lifting and taking the principal portion of the business away from me. Well, bring your boat up here, the, the Ashtabula River, right? Enjoy it and come and have some barbecue here. Nate, thanks so much for being on the show. Give us some contact information. You can find us on Facebook. We're also at www.briquettesmokehouse.com or just give us a ring. We still answer the phone. Well, if you have a sweet tooth like I do and you love good donuts, then you've got to try Maggie's Donuts in Madison, Ohio. Give them a try on your way up to the lake. Let's start with you, Lainey. Let's talk about you guys are identical twins. Actually, in high school, you go to Madison High School, is that correct? Wow. And you started this business. Tell us how this all started. Um, well, growing up, we've seen our dad successfully run multiple businesses, so we wanted to follow in his footsteps and run one of our own. Um, we were looking for a summer job that was flexible with our schedule, and we thought that a donut shop would be a perfect first job for us. Yeah, well, it is a great job. I can't imagine anything better being around donuts all day. How does your shop help your community, your local community? Well, it creates good foot traffic uh, through the village and it helps other businesses around us. And students can come before school and it's a great treat before school. The elementary school is right up the street. They can come on their way to school and grab a nice donut before. And then people on their way to work can come in and bring donuts for their staff. And we enjoy getting to know new people around the community. Ella, your donuts look wonderful. Do you make them here on the premises? No, we don't make them here. Maggie's is a family-owned business that has been around for over 50 years in Middlefield, Ohio, the heart of the Amish country. And so they are produced there and then brought to our location in Madison at 4 a.m. each day. How do we find out more information about Maggie's Donuts so the folks at home can stop up here and get donuts on their way up? Um, you can visit our website and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Maggie's Donuts. Girls, thank you so much for having us out. I wish you the best of luck in your new business here. <laughs> thank you. Oh yeah, I'm really, that's really big. That's fantastic. Thanks. Thank you. One of the new wineries we found in Northeast Ohio is called Cast 307. This one started in 2019, and Donna Liss has joined us to talk about it today. Donna, welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit of the history, how this all got started here. Well, we started in June of 2019 here in the Grand River Valley. We're one of uh, several new wineries in the area. There's always fun new places to try when you come up here. We're located close to Route 90. And there's two new hotels, which makes it very convenient to come and stay. You know, one of the things that I can't help but note, why is this so popular for wine? I mean, we call this wine country because you have so many wineries up here. Yeah, the Grand River Valley is great. We have a lot of unique wineries, so it's great to make your a trip to each one, see, uh, find your favorites. Uh, we also have beer. There's a distillery in the area. We also offer uh, different drinks, a variety. So it's a good place many place, different places you can visit. Yeah. I've heard it described as the Napa Valley of Ohio. Oh, sure, I agree. Who knew Ohio had great wine? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, tell us about some of the unique wines you have here. Well, uh, right now our summer wine is a rosé, a Pinot Grigio. Uh, we offer a unique Fumé Blanc. It's a Sauvignon Blanc grape aged in French oak for nine months. It's toasty, 
uh, lemongrass, pineapple notes to it. Uh, we also put our Chardonnay in a bourbon barrel from Red Eagle Distillery, and uh, that's a very unique wine. And we also even have a Chardonnay ice wine. I couldn't help but notice you have an opera night. Yes. What What in the world is that? Yes, opera night is very popular. It's a great event. It is a six-course serve, meal served with live opera music in between the courses. And uh, it's a great time to come out. Well, give us some contact information where we can learn more. All right. You can contact us at info at cast307.com. You can go to our website, cast307.com. Or you can call the winery, 440-307-9586. Yes, Donna, sounds like a great time. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Given the craziness of today's world, Sparky's Place in Conneaut, Ohio, wants you to leave COVID and politics behind and come here, hang out in their relaxed atmosphere. Enjoy some delicious food and a great beverage while you're here. I got to tell you, when we walked in, I was really surprised. What a warm and inviting atmosphere. And this patio, it reminds me of being in Key West. How'd you come up with this concept? My wife and I used to do a lot of traveling in our previous life. And uh, when we decided to move to Conneaut, it's such a beautiful place with beaches and it's got that kind of vibe. That's why we did it. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. I love this whole area. Let's talk about your beer selection because you have quite a large beer selection. How big is it? Right now we're at about 154 different beers to choose from and then 10 different beers on tap. That's fabulous. And I know you also do all kinds of uh, smoke drinks and things like that. Tell us about that. Yeah, craft cocktails were known for our ultimate Manhattan, and we have one of the largest bourbon collections in the county. We do a mean smoked cocktail. We can uh, smoke it with cherry or apple, and uh, the flavor is just absolutely amazing. I know you also are known for your food. Tell us about the stuff that you're famous for here. Well, we're known for our burgers, but because of the traveling that my wife did from Europe and uh, Canada and all over North America, we brought some of those uh, treats back. So on occasion, my wife will do an amazing German dish or we might do something from England. Uh, we have poutine on the menu all the time for our Canadian friends. And uh, we, uh, we have a very diverse menu. It sounds delicious. How can we find out more information about Sparky's Place so when we come up here to Lake Erie, we can visit you guys? Well, you can certainly you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and our Facebook page. We update it daily. Our beer list is updated sometimes two to three times daily uh, on the selection that we have. Shane, thank you so much for sharing your great place with us today. Thank you so much. Would you like your business to make an appearance on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. Well, you know, we stopped by a lot of the wineries up in Ashtabula County and around Geneva on the lake. One of my personal favorites here next to the Columbus area about an hour away is Raven's Glen. Chelsea's joining us today to talk about it. Chelsea, welcome to the show. Good to have you on. Nice. Thank you for coming. So let's talk about some of the new wines that you have here. All right, our newest is the Petit Verdot. It'll be released here in about two weeks. It's a medium bodied red wine with a clean finish. It has notes of plum, blackberry, blueberries, and hints of black cherry, and it'll pair very nicely with red meat. Well, I hear that you have uh, put together some entertainment now that you can enjoy here at Raven's Glen. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, every Thursday and Friday, I have coming in um, all different kinds of entertainment, anywhere from country to acoustic to jazz. Um, a lot of local names. There's Timothy Paul. He's local from West Lafayette. Um, Alan Carl Music, and he's from Mount Vernon, Ohio. Yep. Um, and then we get the jazz in. So we have a good mixture that comes suitable for all types of music lovers. Let's talk a little bit about some of the events that you have coming up. I know you got a sipping shop, and what is that? And yes, um, coming up September 13th from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. We have a sip and shop. We'll also have entertainment. Timothy Paul will be premiering that day. As of right now, have over 20 vendors ranging from paparazzi to pink zebra to Cincy to one called Damsel in Distress where they sell all kinds of concealed carry purses and stun guns. Nice. Got all kinds of fun stuff coming that day. Well, it sounds like a great event. Yeah, I am so excited. We haven't got to do one in a while with all the COVID stuff going on. So this one will be all outside, social distancing, we are excited. Well, give us some contact information so folks can come out and enjoy Ravens Glen. Oh, you can contact us uh, via a telephone, which is 740-545-1000. Um, you can email us at ravensglen.com, um, or you can just message the business page on Facebook. Fantastic. Chelsea, thanks so much for 
much for talking to us today. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure. We found a golf course located just off the shores of Lake Erie. And some famous names like Jackie Gleason and Bob Hope played golf here. Maybe you should too. That coming up. Well, on our trip to Northeast Ohio, we found a relatively new winery. It's called Silver Crest Cellars. And joining us today is Eric Cotton to talk about it. Eric, good, welcome to the show. Good to have you on. Yeah, thanks for coming. So talk a little bit about the history of this. You actually started growing grapes, right? Yeah, so uh, I bought some property about 16 years ago on the other side of the river and started planting grapes and growing grapes there. And with the intention of doing a winery, then I bumped into uh, John Bohink. He's another grower that we're, that we're in with. And uh, he's actually the main winemaker. I'm mostly the vineyard guy, but we both uh, work in the cellar and we both work in the vineyards and we uh, check each other's work and we catch each other's mistakes. You know, one of the things that has really amazed me over the years of my trips that I've, I've come up here is to find out that this is actually pretty good country for growing grapes. Tell us a little bit about that. The, the reason why it's so warm up here is, you know, you have the lake, Lake Erie that moderates the, the climate as it comes across the lake, so it doesn't get too hot in the summer, doesn't get too cold in the winter. And then you have these series of ridges where, you know, as you come up from the lake, and then it goes down to the Grand River, and it comes back up again to a higher ridge. And what happens is, at the tops of these ridges, all the warm air kind of runs up the hill and the cold air drains away. So it might be three or four or five degrees warmer up here on these ridges than it will be you know, a, a thousand feet away. So Eric, all the wines that you have, are they all made locally here? So uh, all the grapes, these wines are, are grown not more than three miles away from the winery. So everything's from Madison, everything's from, uh, you know, nearby, and we make all the wines here. So Eric, if people want to come up and visit you, how do they learn more? So uh, the easiest way is our website. That's silvercrestcellars.com. And uh, you can search for us easily found on the interweb, right? And uh, our phone number is 440-428-0677. Great to be back here at Fitzgerald's upstairs in your beautiful restaurant and bar area. Let's talk a little bit about this area. What kind of food can we expect and what kind of experience can we expect when we come here? Well, we have a really warm and cozy environment. Uh, we consider ourselves upscale, but casual. A lot of boaters come in, people out and about doing their summer sports, whether it's biking or running, etc. So it's kind of come as you are, but if it's a special date night, you can dress well too. And we have international food, really food from around the world. It follows our wines. We have wine from around the world, so the, the food follows. I know you have some signature drinks, also beer. Uh, you have uh, craft cocktails. Tell us about that. A little bit of everything here. So just like everything that we do here, we pay great attention to detail. And we have wonderful crafted cocktails from really um, great spirits. Uh, we also create several of our own, also for people who are interested in beer, local beers as well. Um, and the full gambit of beer, even though we're noted for being a wine bar, it's so much more. You tell us about your cigar club. Well, the Cigar Club just kicked off this year, and with the Cigar Club, people can come and smoke out on our patio on the designated evenings for that. A lot of our uh, people come to the club um, really enjoy having whiskey and scotch flights, and we have wonderful bourbons and sipping tequilas, even a sipping vodka that's a Japanese vodka made from rice, which is quite unique. You know, this space looks like it would be perfect for a private event. Do you do anything like that? We actually do. We have everything from weddings here, showers, corporate events, to birthday parties, all types of events where people can either rent the whole building or this floor or even our outdoor patio space exclusively. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous. Love this place. Tell us how we can find out more information about Fitzgerald's Wine Bar, Restaurant and Shop. Well, we're located here in Ashtabula Harbor at 1023 Bridge Street and FitzgeraldsWine.com. Deborah, again, thank you so much for having us out. It's such a pleasure to meet you, and thanks for sharing this beautiful place. Thank you very much. Well, located close to the shores of Lake Erie is Madison Country Club, and this place has a lot to offer, plus a lot of people have played golf here that you would know. Joining me is Kevin LeMaster. Kevin, welcome to the show. Good to have you on. Thank you. Proud to be here. So tell us a little of the history of this. You know, I was walking through the clubhouse. I looked up. I saw pictures of Bob Hope here, Jackie Gleason, just to name a few, as well as the Columbus's own Arnold Palmer. Yep, that's for sure. We've had a lot of famous people play up here. Uh, the course has a rich history. It was designed by a gentleman named Sandy Alvis, who built a lot of courses in this area. Also worked with a very famous architect, Donald Ross. So you find a lot of that flavor in Madison. 
Well, one of the good things about this, I understand, it's pretty economical to play here. It is very economical. Uh, it's been said that we're the best $29 course to east of the Mississippi. So, yep. Well, you know, one of the things that I think is kind of interesting, during the COVID thing, this golf has become pretty popular, correct? Very popular, very popular. We're sold out every day. We sell out a week in advance sometimes, so we highly recommend uh, a little forward planning if you want to play some golf. Yeah. Talk about your pro shop with us a little bit. Pro shop, we have uh, pin clubs in there. We have a nice set of apparel. Uh, we keep it simple. It's uh, very economical. Pick up a nice shirt in there, maybe hat, ball mark, something like that. And, you know, as I mentioned in the open, you're not far from the Lake Erie Shores. And what, what does that mean to a golfer? It means, uh, well, it means a lot for the golf course. To the golfer, it means uh, you have some nice extended weather in the fall. Uh, it's not nearly as hot up by the lake as it can be 20 miles inland during the summertime when it's hot. Uh, and the main thing that it's provided for us is we're in what's called the Sylvan Valley. So this golf is 99% silica sand underneath. So an hour after it rains, we're ready to play golf. Well, give us some contact information where we can learn more about Madison Country Club. Well, uh, of course, you can go to madisoncountryclub.com. It's got all your information. You can book your tee times there. You can re request outing or tournaments if you would like. And then uh, uh, the best way to reach us, the pro shop, is area code 440-428-2888. Have a great day at golf. Thanks, Kevin, for being on the show. You got it. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming up. Well, if you're looking for a little getaway up here to Geneva on the lake, there's no better place to relax, unwind, and take in this gorgeous view than the Lake House Inn Resort. So tell us what sets the Lake House Inn Resort apart from other places that you can find lodging here in Geneva on the lake. Well, this view. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, we're one of the, well, there's properties on the water, but I think that we have the best view on the water. Um, we also are, we're small, so we have that quaint, you know, homey feel, but we still have the amenities of a larger property because we have a full service restaurant, we have a day spa on the property, and then we also have our winery. So I feel that you're getting the accommodations of both the small and the big here. So your guests who stay here, what will their experience be like? So our guests, if they want to just come and relax, they can do that. If they don't ever want to leave the property, they come, they can stay in their room, they can sit out here on our beautiful decks, relax with a glass of wine or some food. Or if they want to go out and about, we're a 20 minute drive of 15 wineries. We're close to uh, Bridge Street and Ashtabula Harbor. So there's lots of attractions that they can do as well. So it's really up to the customer what they want to do. Well, let's talk about your accommodations. What can we look forward to when we So we have a bed and breakfast. There's eight rooms in there. Um, five of them we call traditional rooms. They're a little bit more basic, but then we also have three jacuzzi suites, two of those that overlook the water. Um, we have a couple of cottages. There are two bedrooms. So those are great if you have like a girlfriend's getaway or two couples that are traveling. And then we have our beach house which is our favorite lodging. It is a standalone unit. It sits right on the water's edge with its own private deck. So that one is, if I, that's the one I recommend that you take. Well, how do we find out more information so we can book a stay here? The easiest way to find us is on the internet. Our website is thelakehouseinn.com or you can call our front desk at 440-466-8668. Wonderful, Andrea, it's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you again. You're welcome, time. I'm glad you were able to come. Would you like your business to make an appearance on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more.